So you get headaches from drinking red wine from the liquor store. Um, and a lot of people think that uh, it could be sulfites. Um, so let's address that first, sulfites. Um, <clears throat> sulfites, we do use sulfites in our wine. We probably use about a quarter of the sulfites that commercial wine uses. Um, and also, if you like, and you have an intolerance to sulfites, we can make your wine without any sulfites at all. Um, would I recommend it? Not unless you are sulfite intolerant, because without sulfites in your wine, it's not protected against oxidization. So you really need to have your wine drunk within six months, otherwise it's prone to, to turn. The more likely reason that you're getting headaches from store-bought red wines and store-bought dry white wines is a secondary fermentation process that happens in commercial wineries called malolactic fermentation. So uh, let me explain what this is. Um, you ferment the grape juice into wine and then a secondary fermentation process takes place either with uh, an inoculation of malolactic bacteria or it happens from naturally occurring bacteria in the atmosphere. Um, now, what that does is that changes malic acid, which is quite a harsh acid, into lactic acid, which is a much softer, milky acid, and it rounds the wine out, gives it a nicer taste profile, but a byproduct of malolactic fermentation is histamine. So if you ever drink red wine, you get a stuffy nose or watery eyes or a headache, that's malolactic fermentation. Our juice arrives at the winery uh, with the lactic acid levels already elevated, so we don't have to do malolactic fermentation, so you don't get a headache, and you can drink as much wine as you like.